welcome back to the channel today we will show you how to remove and replace rear bumper on Ford Focus MK3 we are demonstrating it on this 2012 model hatchback it might be very close for the sedan I think it's uh, almost almost the same but we'll show you how to do that now stay with us don't forget to check out World Mechanics our main channel guys it's growing crazy fast and thank you for the support okay guys so if you go towards uh, the bottom side of the bumper right there Okay, trying to get a really good light guys so you can see okay there is actually a bolt okay right there with a t30 that we need to remove screw let us show you what it looks like that's what it is okay again you can see towards the back of the car right there and uh, we have one on the other side which is identical to this one so we need to go on the on the passenger side right side and remove the same screw there as well and once we do that you can see ours is popped open here okay we need a seven millimeter seven millimeter right there and there is a bolt that we need to remove okay again screw screw right there and one on the left side as well identical to this one so far pretty easy guys it shouldn't probably take you more than five ten minutes to do it yourself and now we need to go underneath the vehicle there is a couple clips that will need to be removed and we'll show you exactly where those are okay guys so one of the clips okay it's located right there right next to the exhaust and you need to pull the center piece out and once you pull the center piece out of there you will be able uh, okay to remove the whole clip those tend to get stuck really bad because of because of mud, water, anything you can think of goes there. So uh, they will be stuck pretty good. Okay, and that's what it looks like once you remove it. And we have one more, just like that one, on this side, on the left side of the vehicle, which is located right there. So we need to mess with this one. And they tend to break, but you can get replacements pretty inexpensive if they do break. Okay, this one will come out soon. Stuck pretty good, but it's almost there. Okay, centerpiece came out, now the rest of it will do. Alright guys, the next thing what we need to do, uh, some people don't do that, but we're going to go ahead in order to remove the bumper you will need to remove the tail light because it's stuck under the tail light there and if you pull too hard you'll be able to get it out but you might break the bracket for the bumper so we're going to go ahead and remove it now quick okay those twisty things that uh, you, you remove the cap and there is a twisty thing that you need to remove and there is uh, one more that's hidden but it's super simple okay one on top right there and uh, once we remove that okay let me show you now what you need to do you need to pull right here towards this end because there is a clip and that's uh, okay you can see that's the tail light and we're just going to put it there we're not going to even disconnect the cables and that's where the bumper goes that i told you if you pull hard you get it out but uh better not risk it and buy another bucket for like 30 40 bucks so we're going to go ahead and remove the one on the left as well which is uh, which is the same way like the other one just the top one is a little bit inconvenient it's a little bit hidden and it's it's uh, really hard to get to especially if it's super tight but once you get that loose they usually go pretty easy by hand and uh, next thing this one hasn't been removed so we'll need to take care of that one okay like that and we'll put it towards the inside as well now you can see somebody that tried to push there it cracked okay if you help it like that there a little bit uh, especially with a with a screwdriver or a prying tool you can help that one okay like that so the bumper will come out easy otherwise uh, you will break that uh, that mount there and the bumper is loose on this side you need to have a person holding it and we need to do the same thing to this one as well you can see we're just going to help it a little bit 
Okay, like that. And why to risk a mount when you can remove the tail lights in less than a minute? And one of them still holding right here. A little bit there. And the whole bumper should come out of there now. Which should be pretty, pretty easy. Nothing is holding it. And that's the bumper cover there. Right now guys, we got it out. Okay right, guys, that's the whole procedure. Hopefully the video was helpful. We saved you some money and time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for the support.